Hi guys, it's Martin here, also known as Full Moon Drummer on YouTube and UK Guy in USA on the International Scale Modelers Forums. Um, I'm here today with my second build update report for my Azigawa Hawker Typhoon Mark 1B. Alright, the last time, the first update, I'd um, Painted the, few, painted the cockpit, assembled it into the uh, starboard side fuselage along with the radiator and I painted my wheels, um, wheel doors and flaps etc etc but I hadn't done any assembly so what I've done so far um, in, since then is I've assembled the two fuselage halves together I then assembled that to the wings and uh, I'm going to show you now as you can see so assembled the two fuselage halves assembled them to the wings and then you have three pieces that fit around the cockpit to create that area and the reason there's three pieces then it's not two halves that just close together is as the gal wanted to simplify it for themselves to enable them to make two versions of this aircraft the uh, bubble top version and the car door version so there are inserts within the mould that allow you to do that um, I'm doing the car door version now when you put those inserts in you do get some steps around there they don't fit perfectly flush so I had to do a lot of sanding filing down around that area because you can't have any witness lines there um, because they fall inside the panel line areas so what I did was filed it smooth I didn't need any filler I needed no filler whatsoever with this um, with this aircraft as with the Tamiya um, Mosquito I didn't need any filler with that it seems that these Japanese kits have great fits everything goes together nicely but all it was was filing down all the glue joints filing down smoothing off the joints around the cockpit area also I added the uh, barrel fairings for the cannons four of those and I added the bomb pylons one under each wing and then I put before I primed it I put the wheel bay door doors in to close that up and I held those in place with plasticine and um, the rear radiator I've just blocked that off with some wet tissue and I've used some plasticine in there on the front end to mask that and then just Tamiya tape to mask the cockpit area so after doing that I primed it and after priming it it looked great so I let that dry for a few hours and then I've just half hour ago brushed on the uh, pre-shading I didn't airbrush it, my point to nozzle's not working so um, I just got a small brush and mixed some Humbrol 33 flat black with um, isopropyl alcohol 50-50 make it nice and smooth and run it and just brushed it on quick so it's nice and flat on there and uh, that's where I'm at as you know the propeller assembly is done so it's coming along now the next step will be I'm going to mask off the undersides of the wings to spray the white areas the white bands and then I'll put the black stripes on and um, and then after that I'll um, mask those off and then I'll spray all the underside grey and, uh, and when that's dry I'll mask that off and then I'll do my top side grey camo and then mask that off and do the top side green camo anyway that's me done for the day just a quick update coming up to five minutes so I've said enough you've seen enough don't need to say anymore all right thanks for watching guys as always and thanks for your support and keep up the great modeling and videos yourself Talio.
chops away. Oh, sorry, before I go, there'll be some still images showing the process building up to this stage from the last stage that you can see at the end of this video. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. Tally-o chops away.